Hey everybody, how's it going? As you see, I got my Fluval 3.0 in. I got all the substrate in. Got my spider wood in there. Trying to get the moss to cling to it. Um, that'll probably be quite a long project. But I've been doing a bunch of fishing lately with no luck. Although I have found some cool plants and species I would like to introduce to my tank. I'm not 100% sure what they are. If you guys know, you could tell me in the, uh, the comments, that would be great. I found these snails. I found another white one today in the pond. I couldn't quite get it, but I'm not sure what kind they are. I'm hoping they'll be safe for my aquarium. I rinsed them off and I'm gonna drop them in my tank now. This is the first life besides the moss in my tank. I caught this tiny little piece of grass with my fishing lure. It's hard to tell, see here, but I'm gonna put that back here so it's right in the beam of the light. That would be cool to get a carpet going. I don't think I'm gonna really get all the roots down in there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just a random pebble. Okay, so there's that. I don't know if it's just, I don't really know what all this stuff is, but these are everywhere in the stream. It's almost like a sword type of plant. Um, I live in Maine, by the way, so if that helps anybody figure out what this could be. The water temperature, I'd say, is probably about 60, 55 to 65 maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't check it with a thermometer. but That's what the, the stream is at right now, where I got this. Um, I did rinse all this off, hoping it wouldn't put anything into my tank. I got this and like a small little, it was like a little stream going into the stream. Quite have thick roots. I'm not sure, cause that stream, oops, sorry. Um, that stream that I got this out of dries up pretty good. It stays a little swampy right there, but I'm assuming this would be like out of the, it was out of the water. I'm assuming maybe it grows out of the water. So I'm not sure how this will go. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. Like you, I don't know if you guys saw it, it had really long roots. So there's that. I got one more of those, I believe. And I got one more of those. You can see the roots are really long compared to the plant. That'll give it a chance to get down through this thick substrate I got. Oh, I keep pulling. I'm really not good at videoing while trying to do anything. Again, if you know the names of any of these plants or the snails I've got in here, I'd really appreciate if you uh, could put that in the comments. So there's one species of plant. There's that little piece of grass and some sort, sort of sword that I found. These snails, they almost leave like a little slime trail, I think. I don't know, there was slime on the plants in the bottle they were in, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna keep them. And the last plant, I really like this one. Oh, look, I, I did rinse that, but. I'm not sure what this is, but it's really cool. Oh, sorry guys on the video here. I should probably try to 
get my wife to record while I do this, but she's out enjoying the sun with the dog. I don't really know what it is. Native to Maine. And then I just got a couple more of those, but yeah, let me know um, what you guys think. I'm gonna get some more plants today, get this thing loaded up, hopefully. With some stuff, I'm gonna take some peacock gudges in and some guppies, trade them in for some plants. So I'll update that later on. Thank you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already.